YouTube to go and set <laughs> put my eyebrows down today. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? My washing. <laughs> I'm sorry if you did. But anyways, hi guys. Hi. absolutely no idea why is it that even now i haven't learned my lesson since i'm recording this at night again so please bear with me and also i'm guessing you see i have these ideas and also have time during the night time so i should really invest the light but anyways for now <laughs> we just have to be strong i'm just doing a very short story time because i realized that a lot oh, also <laughs> because today don't mind the um, concealer thing it's my first time okay not really my first but it's I, but anyways i did that myself and also i was trying to use whatever that was available from my sister's cupboard because my sister doesn't do makeup either so anyways so guys from the title you already know what this video is about and i'm just gonna go straight into it the reason i'm doing this video specifically is because i realized that uh, when I went through this, I kind of needed someone to assure me that it's normal and all of that, but there was no one. And then also the internet was not as big as today and not everyone had access to the internet like we do today. But anyways, coming out to self, coming out to yourself, based on my personal experience, hence I said this is true, whatever. But coming out to myself, for me personally, was a challenge. It's not something that happened in a day. It was actually a process. I think I believe it's a process for everyone and... Um, it's actually one of the biggest challenges that people have to go through, gay people have to go through, or my people, or whatever. But guys, whoever is um, watching this and is going through the process of figuring life out and figuring themselves out if they're gay or not, please know that it's absolutely normal to have questions and it's absolutely normal to have doubts about your sexuality. And the best thing that you can do for yourself is to be true to yourself and try and explore because that's what I did. Not really that I explored that much, but I explored um, the abnormal side of things. Because growing up, for me, um, not that I grew up in a Christian family, but also and we all read the Bible and all of that. And also my mom is like, one Zulu woman who does not take nonsense. And then also, there was no one who's gay in my family. There still is, actually, as far as I know. Okay, they are, but like, ladies and club on Chile's is corn and for the sake. But, anyways, in my close family, there is not, not even a single gay person except for me. So also it was that, knowing that growing up there was no gay person and it was just me and this was new and I was going to be the first person. It scared the shit out of me. But, guys, wow. <laughs> I just had to be strong because um, it was like, for me, it was a t like, you, you know when you look, at you, you, you look at yourself in the mirror and you love yourself regardless. It, for me, it was like that. Although, at some point, I was like, why am I like this? My mom's going to disown me because, wow, she did, actually, at some point. And then I was like, some of the family members are just going to distance themselves from me. And then a lot of judgment. I knew that a lot of judgment was going to come my way, <laughs> which it did. It did. But also, I had to make peace with myself. Because coming out to yourself is actually... You know when people say coming out, coming out, coming out, but coming out to yourself. Because people just need to understand that you don't just come out as gay. You need to come out to yourself and accept that you're gay and also understand that you're different. And then before you can actually, because it's it's, it's not going to happen. Like you know that you're gay or you kind of think you're gay. But also, you haven't accepted yourself, but you also you want to come out. It's not, it's not, it's not gonna work. Trust me. You need to come out to yourself first. This thing is a process. You need to come out to yourself first, and then after you can tell people about it. Because, uh, <laughs> because people are gonna question you, and then you're gonna feel attacked. And if you feel attacked, that means the problem is within. But if you've made peace with it, when people question you, it's gonna be easy to answer them. Because 
a lot of gay people, my friends, myself, my girlfriend, we are questioned. How do you know that you're really gay? How did you find out? Have you ever tried boys? Um, so what if one guy was to approach you and the guy has all the qualities that you look for in a partner? Would you go for them? What if um, it happens that you with a guy and yeah but it's 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 those kind of things that um people feel attacked when they ask i don't feel attacked you can ask anyone who's close to me they ask me these things and i'm always open to answer them because i feel like there is no right answer and i answer these questions based on my own personal experience um anyways i feel like i'm talking about a lot of things right now and i just need to go back to the story time coming out to myself and finally accepting that i'm gay it happened when i was in grade eight i feel like that's when i actually started living my best gay life because in the thing is this thing i'm trying man guys for me you know primary school like not not primary primary but higher primary school when people start to learning and, and all of that and then they start having boyfriends in Balegelana Nayo and Kichimisa and Visma. Those kind of things. Primary school wise, I didn't really have a boyfriend, but I had a guy. And then because we a boyfriend yam. Okay, sharp again. But let me confirm something. Me and the guy never really, 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 really draw light. Ne? Let me just clarify that. And then when I was in grade seven, that's when there was this girl who was my sister's friend. Because <laughs> me and my sister, Shem, let me explain something. Me and my sister are like very close. Like I have three siblings, but me and my sister. Because let me explain also, <laughs> why do I like explain so much? <laughs> but me and my sister have been doing the same grade since grade one. And then grade six, grade seven, grade eight, grade nine. We were in the same class for four years, in the same class, same teacher, same everything. And then we separated in grade 10 because of this whole subject thing, choosing subjects and yeah but anyways me and my sister are like close close so we're in the same class with my sister and she was friends with this other girl whom also was in our class so and the girl looked very pretty or should i say was very pretty and <laughs> so also at that time i was still a kid and then i did not really nagarize this control thing but guys this girl made me feel otherwise like you know at the time, I did not even know what to crush or yin. But, you know, my crush is the one who 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 is us as grade seven or whatever. So me and this girl chilled and then uh, with it some things get that so we chilled we talked and then it happened that we kissed and yes that was my first kiss and yes it was in grade seven and it was not really that kiss but it was like kiss but a distant kiss and then it was also not a but it was it anyways so that happened and then the feeling got worse <laughs> And then, but it was chilled. Plus, I did not, as I said, there was they, they, there was no gay person in my family. I had no gay friends. And then there was only one lesbian girl at school. Way. Whom, when we got to high school, me and her became friends. Hence, but we were never friends. Because um, I remember me and this girl, I can't say people's names because I need to ask for permission and I didn't. Me and this girl went to the same school, like a primary, primary, primary. As in grade R till grade 4, same school. And then grade 5 to 7, same school. High school, same school. But me and her only became friends in high school. And this girl was lesbian. Like she's known by everyone, not a secret, nothing. And then when we got to high school, me and her became friends. Nah, let me be honest. The friendship thing was not planned. But... When we started hanging, I registered in my head because actually, 
let me hang around this person i could learn a lot and then i could figure this liking girls shit out so in conclusion i've never really really dated a guy and then these all these questions that i had about gay people i kind of did my research via this friend i'm sorry friend that i used you <laughs> The, yes, I, actually, because we're not that close anymore, but we still talk. And thank you for the knowledge. <laughs> but anyways, um, and then, but when this whole thing, I, when I registered this whole thing in my head that let me find out, I also had not made peace with that I'm gay. Until one day, lunch, we were having a conversation. And then there was this other girl that I liked, again, because... The girl that I liked in grade 7, when we went to high school, she moved to a different school and then we applied at a different school as well. So that was the last time I saw my girl. Guys, I've never met with her. I've seen pictures of her in social media and then from social media, but we not. We never even spoke about that. But, girl, it has registered. Yeah, not here, actually. Here. This is for non -tantra. Anyways. <laughs> This is how you know about Chisiwe, bra. Um, so this other day, we were having lunch at school. And then we were, out, we were talking about girls. And there was this other girl that I liked. And then we started talking about it. And then this friend was looking at me like... And she asked, are you gay? And I just said, I did not even think about it. It just, I just said it. Yes. Like, I did not think even like for a second. You know that one second you're like... I, she asked, and I was like, yes. And then after saying yes, ooh, I didn't say, but, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I laugh at myself sometimes. So, yes. And then, after saying yes, that's when in my head I was like, ha, so you learn in bra. So, it's the man. I, after that, I just, I was like, actually, for the fact that I said it without thinking about it, it means something. And then, let me just explore this whole liking goals thing even further. So, I became a verb in high school. Hey! <laughs> I became a verb in high school. And then, also, I took advantage of that in high school. A lot of girls want to explore. And then there were only um, four lesbian girls on my high school. And then it was us, my best friends at the time, and myself. And then there was this other one who was very quiet. And we were doing the same grade also with this other one. But we were not friends with her. She was very quiet. And she was just... Mm. Anyways, so, because Runa Neri Papa. Like Miss Papa, like forward, forward, forward. Like worse than now, because now sometimes I'm like, collect yourself, Mugra. Um, we became spurbs, all of us. Sorry, guys, but we all did. You know yourselves. Because everyone was curious, and then we just wanted to give them girls an opportunity to try the other side. Ah! So that's actually how I actually concluded would say actually i like this and then also i'm not about to try boys just to satisfy a curiosity about because what if you kiss the guy and you like in my head i will i don't think i would enjoy I it guy friends and with my guy friends it's a bro bro thing to uh to the level where even when we have to hug as friends sometimes it feels uh, why but I do hug my friends. Um, yeah, so that's me being gay. And I went through the most, guys, because as soon as I was happy with being gay and I had accepted myself, I wanted to explore to the fullest. I started dressing like a guy, walking like a guy, you know, on some <laughs> level. At some, on some stage, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm Because before I had... In really zinta guys, I had the afro natural hair. Is it guys? And then being clean and all of that. But one day I was like, actually, let me cut my hair, and then I did. And then I for a good two to three years in Kundinwen. And then after, 
anyways so that's my story guys i went through the most and there was a lot of judgment along the way there were a lot of questions and uh, mom my mom disowning me and then also the challenge of actually finding someone that you love because it's not really easy Fede. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope I made sense because I had really no, no, I didn't prepare for anything. I was just blah, 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 blah from nowhere. And then also, I don't think I'm really good at this story time thing because I keep mixing things. Because as as I'm telling the story, I think about something else and then I get, and then, yeah. Anyways, please make sure that you subscribe, that you like, that you comment, and that you tell your friends, to tell their friends, to tell everyone else to come and watch and join the family. And I love you guys so much. And uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm, mm, bye. <laughs>